How happy are you to get this deal done and join my level? Yeah, I'm delighted. You know, it's uh, it's going to be a new challenge for me. Uh, it's my first time uh, even entering Scotland in itself. Uh, but no, I'm, I'm really looking forward to the challenge ahead. You've obviously been on the books at Leicester and spent a lot of seasons out and loan at different clubs. It's good to have the security now that you've got a three-year deal. Yeah, as I say, I've I've done four years at Leicester now. I've had um, I've had several loan moves, um, which has provided me with great experience. Um, I'm at that age now where I need to be playing football week in, week out. And um, I feel coming to Motherwell, I'll get a great opportunity to do that. How much do you know about the Scottish Premiership? Um, I, I should know more. Uh, but no, I'll, I'll learn, I'll, I'm always learning. So when I'm here, I'll, um, I'll really look into it. Um, I, I know how much it means to the fans up here, the, the football. So that was, as I say, it's a, it's a huge attraction for me to come up here. The Motherwell fans will be keen to know what, what can you bring to the team, what can you expect from you? Yeah, well, um, people like to label me as an old-fashioned centre-forward, um, your target man. Um, I like to hold the ball up, bring players into play, but I also like to run in behind, and um, I'd say I've got a nice little eye for goal as well. Have you spoken to anyone who's played Scottish football that you know uh, just about coming here and, and what to expect? Yeah, um, I was at Leicester with uh, Kieran Kennedy, so um, as soon as interest came about from Motherwell, I gave him a quick phone call, and um, now he filled me in, he, he sold the club really well to me, he, um, he was telling me how good it is inside and outside um, the area in itself, um, just little things, you know, um, yeah, he's, he put the club in a really good light, which um, played quite a big part, I'd say, in me coming here. I suppose that puts you at ease knowing someone within the dressing room when you, you immediately come in the door. Yeah, no, I'm 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 easy to get along with anyway. I've I've as you say from my loan moves, I've gone to five or six clubs where I haven't known anyone, and I've I've you know I've made good friends within minutes. So that wasn't really a big factor, but as you say, it's it's, it's a great help to have someone here that I know. How did it feel being connected with a club that's just won the, the English Premier League? Yeah, no, oh, it's a brilliant brilliant experience. You know, just to be training in and around, you know, every day for a couple of months with um, players that are sitting top of the Premier League at the time. And then uh, for him to go on and win the, win the league was brilliant, you know. Um, I've, I've, took, I've took on loads of uh, advice and tips from the players um, at Leicester. Um, uh, I've, um, I've really learnt off them, like the winning mentality that they, that they bring and possess. Um, yeah, no, it was brilliant. Was Jimmy Vardy a player you, you looked up to? Yeah, no, I signed... Uh, I think I signed in the same week he signed. So um, yeah, I was, I was I was quite close to him, and um, he's he, he's done brilliantly well. And you know we've got the same sort of background coming from non-league, and uh, no, he's he, he's pulled me to one side and told me a few things here and there that have that have been brilliant to my game. Knowing what Leicester did, I think Motherwell could do something similar next year in the in the title. Oh, I hope so. Yeah, <laughs> that's the aim. <laughs> Yeah. Jamie Vardy's just signed a, a new four-year deal with Leicester City as well. Uh, are you surprised they didn't go to Arsenal? Or do you, I no, I, I always knew he was going to stay. I mean, um, from a personal point of view, I, I think it's a uh, it's a great decision for him to stay where he is. Um, he'll be he'll be playing more there. So yeah, no, it's, it's a good move for him. To stay. What's, what's Mark McGee said to you about the, the move here and what he, uh, role he sees you playing? Yeah, no, um, he, he's, he's, he's just said, you know, just come in and uh, I'll settle in really quick. Um, I'm just really looking forward to, to seeing, seeing the challenge ahead, to be honest. Claudio Ranieri seems a, a kind of interesting character to deal with. How, how did you find him, Jacob? And, and are there any kind of funny stories, personal to you, that you, you can tell us about? Well, um, I remember, like, in. in I think it was like my third session. It, it's gone viral now. His little saying of a "dilly ding, dilly dong." I mean, the, the lads, the lads started cracking up the first time he was saying it, and you know, he, we just started getting used to it because he was saying it. He was saying it nearly every single session. So um, yeah, and then before you know it, it's, it's in the papers. So yeah, no, it's it's, it's he, he's a, he's a good manager though. He's he's really good. The way he goes about his stuff and um, his one to one stuff. No, it's brilliant. I learned a lot from him. In the kind of brief dealings you've had with the manager here, how similar, how different uh, have you found? Well, obviously it's been very brief. I, you know, I've, I haven't, I haven't seen much of this manager yet, but I've heard brilliant things about him. You know, it was a, it was a big, it was a big, um, big attraction for me, uh, the management team here, um, from Mark McGee to Steve Robinson, and you know, now I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Just in the season in general, obviously there seems to be a real buzz about Scottish football just now. Brendan Rodgers, Joey Barton, mm. was that? 
additional attraction, the chance to play against these good people and be part of a, a league that's you know, a greater spotlight this year? Yeah, yeah, I feel, I feel um, Scottish football is really on the rise. Um, as I said earlier, I know how much it means to the fans up here, the football. Um, and as you say, the likes of Jerry Barton and stuff coming coming up here, it's um, it's, all, it's always going to be good for Scottish football. Are players down south taking note when they look at the likes of, say, Brendan Rodgers, Jerry Barton, making the move up and think, well, actually, there must be something good going on up there? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I mean, I'll tell you from my point of view, I mean, Jerry Barton signed a few weeks ago and I'm thinking, hold on a minute, Scottish football is really on the rise here, attracting, you know, such big and good players. So, yeah. Okay. From your point of view, you've got the security of the three year deal. How important is it for, for you to establish yourself in the team? Here? Oh, definitely, yeah. I mean, um, obviously, I'm a new signing here, so I'm, I'm going to be fighting for my place uh, week in, week out, and that starts on the training field by working as hard as you can to um, get yourself into that team, which is hopefully what I'll do and hopefully score a few goals from other well. What do you like family wise situation? Do you have to move a family or are you on your own? Or uh, no, I'll be I'll, I'll be moving up here on my own. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I'll be looking at a few places in the in the week. <laughs> I've heard Ham I've heard Hamilton's quite a nice area. I'm not I'm not, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, I'm not too sure at the minute. <laughs>